guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a super exciting video. I will be doing a dupe video. So as you can tell, probably I did work really hard to try and find similar shades. Personally, I'm really difficult to call something a complete dupe, but I did find quite a few options that were similar. So if you're interested in seeing what I found, keep on watching. So the first one is the Viva Glam one by MAC. So as you can see, it's gonna be a brownie red shade. So I'm gonna apply it to half my lips. And the dupe is gonna be the NYX matte lipstick in the color Alabama. In my opinion, these two are not completely exact dupes, so they're not exactly the same color, but they are quite similar and they both have a matte finish, so again, similar finish, so it is a great option if you're looking for a brownier uh, reddish shade, but you don't want to splurge to get the MAC one, the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama is a great other option. I really wanted to try and find something similar for Velvet Teddy because everybody raves about it and this one is a matte finish, I'm gonna apply it. So this one I would consider a tough one because it's really not something I have a lot of similar shade in my collection, but one of them that is a little bit uh, more light in my opinion is the Wet n Wild uh, Bare It All lipsticks I'm gonna show you. So as you can see on the lips, they are pretty similar. The uh, Wet n Wild, like I said, is a little bit lighter, but it's still a good option. Both of them are matte finishes, so they have a similar finish on the lips and my swatches are getting really bad, but you get the idea. Next one I wanted to mention is Faux by MAC. This is a satin finish. I recently got this shade and I love it and people have been asking me to find a dupe and I might have found something. So I'm just gonna apply this on my red thigh. First one is Airy Fairy. That is a really known shade from Rimmel. So as you can see, I don't think it's a dupe whatsoever, but I've heard a few people mentioning it, so I thought I would just show that it's not the case. It's uh, a little bit lighter, and because it's not as opaque, you can see uh, the natural color of my lips showing through, so it kind of looks a little bit more reddish than faux, so I just wanted to show it to you so you can see. But the color I found that is extremely similar is by NYX, and it is the color Whipped Caviar. So I'm just gonna switch up the lipstick. Okay, so I just want to mention this option. It's not a dupe per se, but I think it's somewhat similar and gives you the same idea of like a cool tone mauve pink shade. So this one is the color faux and this one is the NYX one in with caviar. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker, but it still gives you a still gives you somewhat of a similar shade. So I thought I would mention it because it's a good option and I love that shade too. So Similar shade would be the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Pops. So as you can see, not exact exact dupe, but they're still quite similar. The high-end version is going to be MAC of the M, which is a beautiful uh, lavender grayish color. And on my left side, I'm gonna apply the Revlon Berry Oat Lipstick. This one is a cream finish. The other one was the Amplify. So this one, you're gonna need quite a few coats to get the color. As you, as you were able to tell, the Revlon one does uh, require quite a few coats to get the color payoff. Not the same issue with the Amplify finish of the MAC one. But as you can tell, they are Hopefully you can tell they are quite similar in color once you build it up. So if you're looking for a more affordable version of MAC Up The Amp, I suggest trying the Revlon Berry Oat Lipstick. Next lipstick where you're going to dupe is the MAC Lipstick in Snob. This is one of my all-time favorite lipstick from now on and it is a satin finish. 
the first one I want to show you is the Revlon lipstick in Primrose. This is the cream finish, so once again, you're gonna have to build it up quite a bit to get the pigmentation. As you can tell, they look extremely similar. The only difference is like, once again, the Revlon, you have to build it up because it is a cream finish, so it looks a little bit more uh, shiny on my lips. And, and the Max Knob is a little bit more like almost matte on my lips. I also wanted to mention the Revlon lipstick in Pink Pout. This one is a matte finish, but I think this one is a hit more like warm to it. Like it looks a little bit more uh, pink. The other one is a little bit more cool tone pink, but I still wanted to mention it because the finish is more similar. So it really is uh, a choice if you prefer uh, a matte finish or a cream finish, or if you don't mind if it's a little bit more uh, warm and less cool tone. So we're gonna do the MAC Lipstick in Diva, which is a matte finish. As you can tell, it's like a dark burgundy shade, and we're gonna dupe it with the Wet n Wild Lipstick in the color Cherry Bomb that I absolutely love. So I was hearing a lot that these two were uh, dupes. I personally don't think they are. I do think they're somewhat similar, but I think that Cherry Bomb and Wet n Wild is more like in between Sin and Diva. I will switch it up uh, for Diva for Sin in one second. I just wanted you to be able to tell that they're similar, but not complete dupes. My swatches are getting really bad, but I hope you can still see. When you swatch them on your hands, I feel like Cherry Bomb looks more like Diva, but when you swatch it on your lips, Sin actually looks a lot more similar. The Wet n Wild one has somewhat of a creamier finish, so it's a little bit more shiny, and the uh, MAC lipstick is like super matte. So that's the only really difference. On the lips, they look extremely similar. If you're looking for the perfect matte red lips, everybody knows and rave about MAC Ruby Rue. I love this shade and we will try to dupe it. So the dupe that I found is the Wet n Wild. As you can see, Wet n Wild has a lot of dupe in his uh, range and this one is in Spotlight Red. And as you can see, it's also a true red, so. It wasn't easy to dupe that one just because even though it's a true red, it's super easy. There's one in any line. This one is so dry and so mad that it's super hard to find something similar. But I do think that the Wet n Wild Spotlight Red is quite similar, a little bit more creamy. And I, I know some people think these are drying, but Ruby Who is way more drying. So I think they're pretty darn close. So I'm going to apply Russian Red, which is the matte finish on my right side. And the similar shade is the Revlon, uh, this one is the uh, Color Burst Matte Balm, yes, in the color standout. I would say that the MAC lipstick is a little bit more bright than the standout lipstick by Revlon. But I think they're still pretty darn close, so I'm gonna show you. It's close, it's close enough that if you're on a budget, I would suggest go with the Revlon one. Plus, it's minty feeling. <laughs> The next one I found two exact dupes, so these are like virtually the same finish, same color. Highly recommend getting those if you want to get Rebel by MAC, which is a super nice, super popular shade. Everybody owns this or wants this, but there's two perfect dupes out there. The thing that could have been really hard to find in a dupe for Rebel is that this shade is like Buildable at first it's not as dark and the stain it leaves it's kind of a little bit more reddish shade Looks gorgeous, but so hard to find but it's also the case with the Milani lipstick in the color Sangria So 
as you can see, color-wise, these are both like virtually identical. The only difference would be that the Sangria has a really, really matte finish. So if you don't like matte finishes, you might as well either go with this one, the Rebel one, or the other dupe, which is also a matte finish, but you know, this one is really, really drying. But this one smells like fruits, and it will last you quite a few hours, and actually, as it wears off, you will be stuck with a stain that is really similar to Rebel once again. The other option is quite well known and it is the Wet n Wild lipstick in Sugar Plum Fairy. So as you can see, gorgeous color, I'm gonna apply it. The main difference with the Wet n Wild uh, lipstick is that this one is not buildable. So it will be like one swipe and you get the pigmentation that you see on my lips. This one is buildable, so you have a few options, but I still think they look extremely similar. So the last shade that I thought would be nice for this time of the year was Girl About Town. So this one is a Amplify finish. I will be comparing it to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa. So the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream is a hint more bright and the uh, Girl About Town is a little bit more like very muted shade. Keep in mind that I have like a pretty intense soft boxes pointing at my face right now so you will see any differences between like the lipsticks but in real life if you t told someone like that that was Girl About Town they might believe you if they know what that shade is but you know what I mean like I use that lighting so you can really really tell the difference. The other option would, the other option would be the Revlon Lip Butter if you know me so I don't like those but this shade I do like this one is a lollipop. Lollipop is more of a sheer uh, version of the lipstick, obviously it's a lip butter, and it's a hit more purpley, but still really similar to Curl About Town. Yeah, I'm trying to show you different angles, but you get the idea. So those are all the dupes that I have for you today. I will probably do a part two because I know way more than that, but my lips can't take more than this. To be honest, let me know in the comments if you know any dupes so I could swatch them if I own the lipsticks. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for finding dupes. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video. Bye!